Well, in an election year, politicians and pundits don't hesitate to tell us what they think is right for America. But what defines us in 2012? All this week, we're going in-depth on I Am America, taking a closer look at how our country has changed ethnically, religiously, and economically. And today, no desire to retire. Poppy Harlow meets a nurse who, with 40 years under her belt, is the face of the baby boomer generation that is ready to keep working. Here's a look. I walk kind of fast, so you have to keep up, all right? At 62 years old, nurse Ann Doshi isn't anywhere near retirement. You have the knowledge, and you have the chance to share it, and that's what I like to do. Ann has tons of energy. She has more energy than some of us younger nurses. This is the OR table. This is where the head of the patient would be. After 40 years in the operating room, Ann trains nurses and medical students at this New Jersey hospital. It's a field where experience counts. It used to be years ago that there was a saying that older nurses, seasoned nurses, ate their young. And I'm not saying that that doesn't still exist in the field, but I think for many people today, they realize that the older person can be a lot of help to them. Anne's employer, Atlantic Health System, has been singled out for its effort to retain and recruit older workers. In fact, last year, AARP named it one of the top 10 best employers for workers over 50. 38% of its workforce is over 50. That's above average for the labor force as a whole. You guys want older workers, is that right? Absolutely. Why? Older workers bring us invaluable experience, knowledge, and skills. Allison Murphy, a 28-year-old nurse mentored by Ann, says the contribution of older co-workers can't be overstated. We really, truly learn from them. I think they're very innovative. They're right there on top of all our new equipment, all our new procedures. But studies have found an overwhelming prejudice against older job candidates. Experts say, though, it's a myth that older workers are less productive or less innovative. Everything gets better with experience, and therefore everything gets better with uh, employees who are older. Absenteeism declines, turnover actually declines, job performance increases, uh, certainly knowledge of the work increases, interpersonal skills improve. Are there risks to having an older workforce? We haven't found any risks. Really? Actually, our health care, employee health care costs have gone down. The company's health care costs fell a modest 1% last year. But what is going up, the number of Americans age 55 and older in the workforce. That's not surprising since many older workers don't believe they can afford to retire. But others, like Ann, say staying on the job is about more than financial security. The majority of my work right now, to be very honest, is because I really love my work. I want to do this, and I don't want to stop. You don't want to stop? No, I don't. There's some rooms that are identical. In Morristown, New Jersey, Poppy Harlow, CNN Money.